Today's lesson is on ink estimation in Flexi. Let's find out how much ink is being used to print those images. Ink estimation is great to find out how much it costs in ink to print multiple copies, nested copies, or even large prints like vehicle wraps. Let me show you a quick video on how to use it. All right, let's talk a little bit about ink estimation. You're gonna find this in the production manager side of Flexi. So I've added a few files together and I've nested them together and they all have the same uh, kind of uh, profile and so forth. In fact, let me double click on the job name here and I'll show you what I mean. So all these files are in here and they all have the same uh, color management. That's important for nesting, okay? So there I've got the, all the same thing here. And by the way, while we're here, I may as well mention, you know, if you click on any one of these items, you can actually change it. And, and, and like if you need more copies or if you need fewer copies or if you want to make this slightly larger, you know, this is something that you can't do in other programs. So I just wanted to show that to you. That's the nesting part. Anyway, so there you got your copies in there, right? So we have media and we can account for how much media we're using. Uh, we know how much time this is going to take, but how much ink is being used to actually print this entire grouping of images here? This would be great for multiple copies if you're doing like a series of copies or if you're nesting things together. It's not just nesting. You can do it on anything. You can do it on one image if you want to, to estimate the amount of ink being used. So here's how you do it. Once you have it in, in your whole queue down here, uh, take it over into the rip queue, just drag and drop it into the rip queue. So it has to rip the file. Now, what that means is it's actually going through the uh, process of separating all the RGB colors into CMYK components. And it's literally, literally determining uh, the, the way the nozzle sh uh, is going to be uh, using the ink, how many ink drops are being used to produce this particular uh, set of images or, or the images that you've got. So it'll take as long as it takes, you know, however fast your computer is, it, it'll, it'll, it'll rip it all the way through. All right, the ripping is done. So at this point then, you can click on the job name and you'll see up here at the top, uh, an estimate button will show up. So I'm gonna click on that. And that's gonna start our ink estimation uh, capabilities here. Now there's a few things you should keep in mind. Number one, uh, preferences. You can actually add a cleaning factor and you can do it on milliliters or in uh, picoliters. Let's do it in milliliters, all right? And we're gonna do like a 5% cleaning factor, meaning that during the job, it's gonna have some sort of uh, thing where it goes back and cleans the ink or something like that. That's fine, I'm just saying, you don't have to do that, but we're gonna, we're gonna actually include that in our ink estimation. Now, when you do that, it's actually going to estimate the amount of ink based on in this case, uh, CMYK, and this resolution, this kind of media, and so forth. So it's using the profile to also include uh, the ink estimation because that's that's important. Now, how did it come up with all these numbers? And according to my uh, ink estimation here, lots of magenta, lots of yellow, a little bit of black, a little bit of cyan, which makes sense because there's a lot of red in this image over here. Uh, here's how much the volume of each one of those colors is and the total is $3.19 in ink to print this particular image. How to come up with those figures? Well, right down here, there's a config button. So you wanna click on that early on and you can actually change a few things. Number one, we're actually going to uh, use the default settings of our dot size for our printer. Now, you get to get really detailed. You can get in here and, and do a bunch of stuff with dot sizes, but I wouldn't. I, I just leave them alone. Use the default values, which comes from the printer uh, manufacturer driver anyway, and your profile. All right, so I'm going to say we have 220 milliliter cartridges. That's more important. And we're paying, say, $125 each for those car uh, cartridges. When you click OK, that sets the pricing. So normally you could just click on estimate and then it would calculate just like you see here. And then it tells you how much it's going to cost. It's just that simple. By the way, if you really want to get into this, you can also export that file. It's a, an Excel worksheet file, so if you want to keep track of all that, you can certainly do that per job if you want to. Very easy to use. It's very, very simple. Again, all you got to do is make sure there's a file in the whole queue, rip the job, go to Estimate, all right, click on Configure, and make sure you have your ink estimates in there. 
click on estimate. It'll take just a few seconds to figure out how many drops of ink to create that particular job. And then it will give you the milliliters of ink as well as the estimation for printing that entire job. Whether it's nested, one copy, multi copies, whatever you want. This is great for things like um, vehicle wraps and large graphics because you want to know you know, you're using quite a bit of ink. Number one, do you have enough ink on hand to get the job done? And number two, how much is it going to cost? You can include it in your pricing, get some of that ink cost back. Good deal, man. Hope you enjoyed it. It's just that easy with Flexi. Why not drive your business with Flexi?